This is exposing 21st century Satanism. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I tried to do like a mini documentary. But like I figured since like I work at night and then I go to college in the morning that I might as well do a little bit of a expose on my way home at night. Since they do say that the devil works at night, I figure why not I do God's work at night and go against the devil? Because isn't that what we're all here for? To expose evil? To expose Satan and his diabolical plot to enslave humanity and rupture the atmosphere of what God created? and to take your soul basically what i want to talk about today is this article that i saw on the news app on my phone that i have it's an iphone se it's the um basically the version of the iphone 6 in a smaller version more compact and it says right here this is on the verge and um, this article was posted on November 7th 2017 at 9 a.m. by Lauren good I believe and it says that they are creating or in a sense they're asking are holograms the future of how we capture memories and it's this basically virtual reality utopia of a sort of like trying to hold on to something that is supposed to be more so just a memory. But not only did God say that he will make heaven brand new and create earth, a, a brand new earth and, and bring a new heaven about. But when we read our King James Version Bible and we really go over like prophecy and we look into revelation, we can see just how twisted the world has become. You can't put your faith in Donald Trump. You can't put your faith in Alec Jones. You can't put your faith in Hillary Clinton. You can't even put your faith in Obama. You cannot put your faith in anything that is not of Jesus Christ, you know? And when people tell you that NASA is this and that, you can't put your faith in these guys. You gotta put your faith in Jesus Christ. And basically what it says in this article is how like, pretty much you can capture memories with like a green screen of some sort and like keep like say like when a family member dies like you know how they have at the um coachella how they have like oh they have this michael jackson coming back to life for coachella yeah that's real ironic because now they can use michael jackson to make more money michael jackson was a cash cow that's why the elite wiped him off that's why when you see when before Michael Jackson was about to die, when he was like saying to his doctor, he was saying, you know, all kinds of to, to people that are asleep, like crazy things, you know, like people that are like mind controlled by the society, you know, MK Ultra mind controlled by like predictive programming and the television and they get their news from CNN, they get their news from um, MSNBC they get their news from um, local news channels and stuff you know where I live in Washington State in the Puget Sound area you know we have King 5 News we have Cairo 7 we have Como 4 we have Q13 you know you got all these people that are not glorifying God's creation you know when you see someone that you think you got secular thoughts. And I told you, like, right now I'm in college working my way up. But my knowledge right now, I feel like I am past someone in their 50s. And I'm not trying to boast or brag. I'm just saying that right now I feel, I feel almost triple my age. As far as 
God giving me instruction and wisdom to really be able to see through the lies. Because if you think about this world that we live in, it's all programmed in people's minds that all that matters is money. Because most people believe that they were evolved from apes and monkeys because you have Darwinism being pushed through the school system. But God's words and God's beautiful divine creation is being hushed hushed by global elites and donald trump even said yeah i'm a nationalist but i'm a globalist at the same time you can't be a nationalist and a globalist at the same time how do you do that you don't that's like god saying you can't play the fence you can't be for me one day and against me the next day we all are going to stumble and we're all going to falter in our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't get me wrong. I've had my faults. Trust me. I've come from many, 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 many shortcomings. Not only was I kicked out of high school, I was arrested as a teenager. I even had one bout with the law where I was attacked, in a sense, by a police dog, even though I was underage, I was still attacked by a police dog. And some of the things I were doing were of the devil. Not only was I smoking and drinking, I was hanging around gang bangers. I was hanging around drug dealers. All I cared about was spitting some bars because who I thought was cool to me was Eminem, Tupac, and Lil Wayne. All I really cared about was being of the world. All I really cared about was trying to get people's respect. You know what I care about now? I care about Jesus Christ and I care about God and I care about what's to come. Because people say, yeah, we need to save the earth. You can't save the earth. You can save people's souls. Yeah, you should be treating the environment a little bit better. I'll admit, I've been prone to throw some stuff out the window in my heyday. I'm still kind of in it, but I, like I told you earlier, I feel like I'm triple my age. Because at a young age, at 15 years old, when I was kicked out of high school, I'm in college right now. When I was kicked out of high school, it almost forced me to have to become an adult at 15 years old. And I really got a sense of how cruel the world really is when my peers ousted me out and it was for a little prank you know when someone pulls a fire alarm and then you get ousted you know i felt like what they say you know you know when the captain is uh getting drunk and he's and he's driving the and, he, and he's not driving because the ship doesn't you know it doesn't technically have an engine i guess of of what you would use in a car but the captain's getting drunk you know captain jack is getting wasted He's not just putting Tabasco sauce on his tongue and, and spitting out flames of fire. No, Captain Jack is sipping Captain Morgan and he's getting wasted. And what is Captain Jack doing? Captain Jack is driving. I, I keep saying drive. I'm going to just stick with it. You know, Captain Jack is driving his ship and everyone's like, this guy is going to crash the ship. And I know this has nothing to do with virtual reality right now and I'm ranting but I just want to say, when you don't crash the ship and you do come back alive, people are like, how the heck did he do it? Better yet, they're, they're, they're probably like, how the hell did he do it? But anyways, I want to I just talk about this virtual reality of how it's like this. The elitists want you to become... Like, they're also building that new city in um, Canada. Well, it's being, like, endorsed by Google. It's like a utopia. But if you think about it, you've seen movies and stuff where it's, like, the futuristic movies where everyone is robotic. Like, if you've ever seen the movie The Island, or if you've ever seen the movie I, Robot, or if you've seen the movie Transcendence, or if you've seen um, any of the new movies, or if you've seen the movie with Scarlett Johansson and it was called Her, like, you can just see, like, the oh, we need to push this 
artificial intelligence and in in, uh, Sophia being granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia, but there's women in Saudi Arabia that don't even have as many rights as a robotic creature. And she's not even a creature. She's a machine, a robotic machine. More rights than a real human being. Is that not messed up? Is that not corrupt? Are we not like making our way into the end days or the end times are our, time, are, are our days not like Noah and people say yeah I don't believe in God I don't believe in God but you believe in a devil how can you believe in a devil or you can believe the world is wicked but you can't believe that the world has a God that Jesus Christ is real because if you say I don't believe I don't believe in God God's never helped me I remember one time I prayed to I prayed to God to have a fortune. God never put you on this earth to have a fortune. That's not your lane. That's not your motive. If you even need a motive, you don't need a motive. That's secular thoughts. That's not even your spiritual fulfillment of the world. And if you do obtain wealth and you do decide to use it in your own game, well then you know what they say. For the love of money is the root of all evil. So therefore, you know what? Not only are you just being tainted in your thoughts, but you're letting the wealth that God blessed you with corrupt your flesh. So anyways, this is about the virtual reality technology. And I'm going to try to keep these videos like 15 minutes long because I've, you know, watched other videos. And I have some people that I really like to watch on YouTube, especially one called a call for an uprising and another one a face like the sun i watch these guys and and i and i listen to them and they may be you know a little older than me but i feel like my wisdom is at par with them at par with them and i might not have a great mic right now but like right now i'm gonna do like these drive home videos and this is a a web series and I'm gonna create this channel and I'm gonna call it exposing 21st century Satanism and basically this virtual reality stuff we need to be aware of it because instead of like having just pictures and stuff to remember well it's like it doesn't really matter in the end if you don't have Jesus Christ because I mean you could get all this money in the world but when you die where are you gonna go where are you gonna go what are you gonna do are you going to put all your money in the coffin with you like the Egyptians? Say, hey, I want to be buried with all my assets. You know what? Bury me under my house. I paid it off. I, I spent my whole life paying for my house. And, and let alone, I'm crippled in this house anyway. So just bury me under the house. Put the house on top of me. You know what? And put all my uh, expensive silverware in a compartment right next to me, you know, just in case I wake up and I'm hungry. Not that you probably will wake up because you're dead and you're probably in hell because you didn't give your life to Jesus Christ. And people can mock and say, well, you know what? I believe in Scientology. I believe in Tom Cruise. You know what? Let me jump on a couch with Oprah. Let me go ahead and start jumping on a couch. You know what? Because Scientology is what these guys are telling you to believe in. I seen this on sci-fi. I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? And I'm not talking about a radio show, but are you serious? And I'm not talking about Siri, and I'm not talking about asking a robot for my information or their opinion or her opinion, her robotic opinion. I don't need her robotic opinion and I've always felt growing up I know this is getting to the point but I always felt growing up kids that I grew up with you used to like tell me you know what you're different you're different you know how they treated Rudolph you know you're different you're different your nose is different you're different look at you you're different and then it's like you know what you start to lead the way and they're like either you can follow behind and I'm not leading my own path. I'm leading Jesus Christ. I'm leading you to Jesus Christ. And you could pick up your King James Version Bible. I remember I had a friend that set me free. And you know what his name was? It's ironic. I'll tell you my name just for one time. My actual real name is Jacob. 
And it's ironic that this person that set me free, that gave me this Bible, his name was Freedom. F-R-E-E-D-O-M, Freedom. And my name is Jacob. And he set me free. Ain't that weird? It ain't weird because I don't even use the word weird. You know what that is? That's divine purpose. That's God's creation manifesting itself in him, through him, then through me, through other people. And you can believe what you want. You can say, you know what? I believe in technology. Well, go ahead and believe in technology and keep buying new cars, keep buying new phones. And when you do pass, just think about it. That phone is not going to be able to connect you to anything after this world. You're going to be like, man, I spent so much on this car. I spent my freaking hard work, my, my hard earned savings on this work in this car, in this house. And now I'm so old. I'm so crippled. Not only did I go party every night and I go dr and I go drink every night because I was listening to the TV, I could barely move. I tried to get up and I busted my hip. You know why? Because people are of the world and they think to themselves, yeah, I think I know everything. You don't know anything. You don't even know God. How are you supposed to be anything in this world? You don't know Jesus Christ. You know what you know because you know what you see on the TV. That's what I said. You know what you see on the TV? You see on the TV what they want you to see. That's what you see. You see what they want you to see. And you got to wake up. Like this virtual reality thing that they're trying to put this agenda or this depopulation agenda. These elitists that are trying to control the world because what are they? They are power hungry. And what do they want? World domination. Why do they want world domination? Because they want to be like gods. They want to be divine. They want to be the creators. They want to make artificial intelligence because they want to be omnipotent. But they can never be omnipotent because they are human. And what are we? Human. And what do we do? We die. And why do we die? Because if you look back at history, not the history that school tells you, but if you look back at the history of the Bible, You'll realize in Genesis, I think it was chapter 3, how the serpent came into the garden and deceived Eve. And then Eve told Adam, look, I ate of the tree of the, good, of the knowledge of good and evil, and I did not die. And then what did Adam do? He ate it too. Because Eve said, look, I didn't die. I'm alive. But surely it was alive because in the end... Death was given to them. And I am over 15 minutes and I was ranting. And this article is on the verge. <laughs> I'm sorry. That felt good. This is good. This is going to be great. Exposing 21st century Satanism on the way home. You know, I'm going to school right now and I'm, and I'm working my way to become a graphic designer and I want to uh, get a job at the corporate Nike and, and, and hopefully with the blessing of God, you know, not only maybe can I create um, apparel and create maybe shoes to give to people that are less fortunate because in our society, everyone thinks, oh, it's money, 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 because that's all they really think about. That's all they care. That's all they think that this world is about because they're being lied to. It says in the Bible, be careful, be not deceived, because Satan is your adversary who's like a roaring lion just going around the world, going around, and you can't even see him. He's just waiting for you to slip so he can uh, devour you, because Satan doesn't care about your feelings. So if you believe in evil, then you should believe in good. If you believe in evil, then you need to believe in Jesus Christ, because like, I don't even want to use Tupac in his, as an example because he might not even he might not be in heaven. He might be in hell, and I'm not to say where he is. But one thing I remember, and he was probably speaking secular, but one thing he said is, "You're either for us or you're against us." But that's but that's because 
the elitist in everyone, they steal from God. So it's like God says that to everyone. We are his creation. You are his creation. Jesus Christ, he more than loves you. But the elite, they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that your divine purpose on life is to glorify God. And God said, you know what? Let's make man in our image. Not like a cartoon. He didn't say, look, let's make God like this. Let's make, I mean, excuse me. Let's like, let's make man like this. God didn't say that. God said, let's make man in our image. So it's ironic that when we think about it, we're made in God's image. And women, they came from Adam. So women were, they, they came from the rib of Adam. So it's like, I don't, I'm going way over 15 minutes right now, but I'm freaking ranting right now, man. I am like, I put some Tabasco sauce on my tongue tonight because I was like, maybe this might just give me the jolt to just, ah, you know, get out the truth and then stuff like that. And I was just like, woo, you know what? This stuff is not even that hot. Let me put more drops on my tongue because right now I'm about to be on fire for Jesus because I was listening to hip hop. I was doing this. I was doing that. And I was telling myself, you know what? I think I know everything. And I was like, you know what? I know a lot about the world. But like I told you, that's maybe my wisdom of the world. But my wisdom of God is like a baby because I'm just like I got saved in 2012. That's why I said my wisdom probably of this world is like triple my age. But it ain't too hard to get this world's wisdom. That's like elementary preschool stuff. But to get the wisdom and the instruction from God, you got to come to God like a child and you got to believe. You know what I mean? If you can believe in Santa Claus as a kid, then I don't see why you can't believe in Jesus Christ. So let us just end this by saying this virtual reality stuff that they're saying that they're going to create so you can remember your loved ones like like a Coachella concert with Michael Jackson on stage thriller and you got Tupac or you got when Eminem dies they'll probably do him too you know maybe Prince they'll, they'll bring all these guys you know what they'll bring them all and they'll make like you better you know uh, 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 or Tupac uh, yeah when we you know whatever whatever the songs are they'll probably put those guys on stage so you'll probably see your grandma on stage with Michael Jackson at Coachella through your virtual reality headset and you should be aware that these guys are not of Jesus Christ and they're not on the good team. Be on the good team and join Jesus. And that ain't even a difficult decision. You can go to any church and denomination. And by the way, UFOs are not real. Aliens are fallen angels. I thought I'd say that and I'm way over. We're way over 15 minutes, guys. And I hollered, I raised my voice, I got all enthusiastic. I'm gonna keep doing these things. I'm gonna try to eventually like get like like a cool mic or something. But right now, like it's better because God said if you if you have the spirit, then let the spirit speak. You know, so I'm letting the spirit speak right now, and I'm letting Jesus Christ uh, manifest Himself through me, and in, in the fact that we are of God, and I'm almost home now, and. Anyways, I love you guys, and God bless you guys, and let's continue to expose evil and expose Satan for who he is, a, a liar, a thief, a stealer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. This is exposing 21st century Satanism. Peace.